Today we have a exciting video, a very, very exciting video because we're here in this uh, disclosed private location. I can't say the exact address, but we're gonna be hanging out with DJ Big Boy Cheng today. And this is a person that a lot of you guys have been messaging me online, telling me to collaborate with him, check out his collection. He has the best collection in the Philippines, the most hypest collection, the most lavish and outrageous one. So let's go find out. Let's go see for ourselves and meet the man himself, DJ Big Boy Cheng. Let's get inside. Hi, Christian. Hey. I'm nice Christian also. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome. Oh, yeah. I'm Catholic. Hey. 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 It is absolutely amazing. I've never seen so much art in one person's house before, and it's not just art. It's really cool hype stuff as well, including Bape, Louis Vuitton. There's a lot of sneakers and a lot of bare bricks as well. This is like sensory overload just being in here right now. It's pretty amazing. We should we should talk with Big Boy a little bit, get to know him, and if you guys wanna check him out, I'll leave his Instagram, his YouTube, all that stuff linked down below so you guys can follow him. How long have you been collecting things for? I've been collecting toys for, uh around 20 years now. Oh wow. Yeah, I started with, out with robots, He-Mans, G.I. Joes, and now I became Art Toys mm -hmm. with Michael Lau. And now what's what's good about this, like the designers make shoes now. Yeah. Like Michael Lau from Hong Kong, he makes, uh, he works with Nike. This culture is getting bigger and, you know, more on, more collabs with designers, artists and shoes, mm -hmm. music, so everything. What so, was the uh, like particular piece that really started it off for you? For me, uh, yeah. for started out with uh, art toys uh, with Michael Lau in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. So I collected his toys. Uh, but way back then, I collect sneakers. So yeah. and then you know Michael Lau worked work for Nike. So you know it's m much fun for me. Well, I started out with Converse. I, you guys are young. <laughs> yeah. But I started out with Converse, <laughs> Diadoras, like way back. Oh wow! Yeah. Jordan ones. Yeah. And then uh, you know. SB started it all, the collabs. So the SB, so this one is a nice one. This one is uh, by Jeff Stables. Oh my gosh, yeah, this the is pigeon. legendary. Yeah, legendary. Yeah. Uh, that's when they uh, make lines now for the shoes mm -hmm. because they just sold this and then a riot. So this started it all. This one is really nice, the what the dunks. This one is uh, yeah, quite rare now. What mm -hmm. a, I think this is the rarest SB. Yellow lobsters too here. The yellow lobsters. Yeah, what about yeah. those uh, the purple lobsters coming out? Soon? Oh, I'll be I'll be getting that Around definitely. Yeah. So I got this yellow one. I'm I'm buying the other two. I have some bespokes here. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Where did you uh you made these yourself? Or? Uh, I got it from a friend mm -hmm. that that has a, like a VIP account at night. Yeah. Because I don't have it. Only in New York. I think they made this in New York. Big Boy has such a massive collection and a lot of the stuff is in pristine condition. Yeah. Are there any particular sneakers that you really like to beat up and wear a ton and you don't really mind if they get dirty? Uh, right now it's easy to uh, wear sneakers, you know, you can beat them up because uh, there's many restoration restoration shops. Mm -hmm. I use all my sneakers actually, but the one I really like to use are the New Balance for walking. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Off-White Air Max is good for, Air Max is good for walking, actually all Air Maxes. What's the most um, worn beat up shoe in your collection? If you, if you Right have now, of course, yeah. uh, I have it outside. Yeah. I'm gonna show you okay, later. Let's take a look later. Yeah, the, the Jordan, the uh, oh, yeah, Jordan uh, Concord uh, mid-cut. Okay. I use that like for three years now for basketball. Oh wow. Yeah, and you'll see. <laughs> and it smells too. Huh? I have this complex con here, the, oh, the undefeated, yes. yeah, the 97s, mm -hmm. and uh, trackers, uh, Valenciaga trackers, triple S, which is uh, pretty big now for, you know, it's quite comfortable to wear. Colette, 2017. Ah. So now Colette Paris is closed. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, things are getting uh, more collectible. But this one is a Tokyo. This one is a sample. Mm -hmm. is when did you get these or how did you get them if you can tell the story? I got this from, uh, a really good uh, OG seller in uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. the Petchy Mode. Yeah, really good friend of mine too. Uh, he's a, a really nice guy too from LA. This one is the undefeated mm -hmm. a sample. Oh no, not sample. Friends and family. Friends and family. M and M's. You don't see those every day. Yeah, friends and family. Uh, Jordan Five, uh, Paris Saint Germain, Oregon's. Yeah, I have the Back to the Future here too. The Air Max. Yeah, Air Max. This one I never use because. Mm -hmm. 
because it's quite the same with the old Air Mag, but this one just auto lace. Players edition, mm -hmm. college players like North Carolina, Oregon, and uh, Georgetown. Uh, Timberlake friends and family. I've seen these on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Coming in the Philippines next year. Mm -hmm. Atmos, yeah, Atmos Japan. So cements, safaris. I got the old ones and the new ones. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. Do you have a favorite out of all the Atmos Air Maxes here? Mmm, duck camo. Ah, oh, the duck yeah, camo. Yeah, yeah. Those this. are so hard to come by. I know, I know. <laughs> and yeah, I got two, two of this. Mm -hmm. So th these are my favorite. I see a lot of doubles in your collection. How often do you double up on sneakers or what's the certain uh, reasons you would double up on oh, a shoe? Oh, yeah. Because you have good, so much. That's a good question. Comfortability mm -hmm. and then I really like the style. I know it's going to get high one day mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So, you know, I buy double, triple sometimes. Like the what the dunks, I got four before. Mm -hmm. Two got broken already because I wear it out. <laughs> so I got one here yeah. and then I got a new one next. I'm going to show you later. If you guys pay attention to Big Boy's Instagram account, he has an affinity for Balenciaga. This, yeah. this man loves his Balenciaga. <laughs> Tell me about your obsession with Balenciaga. Because I like the like the sock thing, like this. The sock runners? Or? Yeah, this one's mm -hmm. very comfortable. Like you don't have to wear socks. It's like a sock and then shoe in mm -hmm. one, yeah. And then just put anti-shoe expert foot powder in it. Yeah. <laughs> and then wear it and then very comfortable and stylish. And I like Balenciaga's direction. One of the first uh, big brands who got into streetwear. Yeah. So I, I love their style, the signs and everything. This one didn't start it at all. This one is the rarest, I think. Yeah. Oh no, it's still 3D. Oh, 3D. Yeah, you can, 3D. Yeah, yeah. So you can see. So, uh, and this one is uh, like a sample pair I got from uh, Shoe Expo. This is the uh, Taiwan oh, Invincible Exclusive, yeah. Wow. Like they made only 50. Ronnie Feig, mm -hmm. Keith, yeah, friends and family. Keith 4D. Uh, this one is very comfortable to wear. <laughs> like this one, you cannot wear it. Yeah. It's really hard to wear, but they made it like stretchable already here. Wow. So Adidas has been pushing Boost over the last couple of years yes. like really really hard and now they're gonna be pushing 4D mm -hmm. and they're gonna make it eventually more accessible to the public. How does it compare to Boost in your opinion? For me a Boost, uh, lot, lots of people like Boost because they can you know wear it, mm -hmm. they can run with it, you know they can use it and it's stylish too. Yeah. But the 4D you know you know it's limited edition, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So uh, for comfortability I think for for walking and you know, for wearing, I think the 4D is nice. Mm. But it's quite expensive, so you won't run with it. But you're not gonna be running a marathon or going to the gym very much in, in the 4D. I, I know, I know, but <laughs> for marathon, mm -hmm. this one is the best. This one is a limited edition Zoom Fly. Mm -hmm. If you wear this, you, you won't, you don't like to wear any other shoe. Yeah. Because it's so bouncy. <laughs> yeah, I is it bouncier than Boost or? Bouncier than yeah? Boost. This wow. is the best for running, huh. yeah, but I don't run. 50 in the world or 100, I don't mm -hmm. know, but this is quite rare, especially with size 11. This one is the first NMD. Yeah. Was that from the original release? Way yes, back? in Germany. Oh, wow. Yeah, they released 100 of these. Where are your favorite places to travel or go sneaker shopping? Oh, man, the best is in uh, LA and oh, uh, nice. New York. Okay. Third is Japan. Mm -hmm. yeah, but in LA and New York, oh my God, that's, that's where the good stuff <laughs> comes from. The friends and family, the samples, we got lots of friends there, and yeah, like Riffle. So uh, I'm gonna show you the yeah. where I store my sneakers. Whenever it's not displayed, I store them here. Oh, there's an off-white here. I just had it clean, but yeah, it still looks so used. And uh, I have the butt mount. This one's nice. I've never seen these before, really? actually. So it comes like this? Yeah, it comes yeah. like this. What do you do with all the boxes? Because none of these shoes have like their original boxes yeah, out. So where all, they go? Yeah, I have a big warehouse upstairs. So I keep them all stacked up. Okay. And then uh, like uh, put a serial number or picture yeah. of a shoe on it. Because there's so many now. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the Puma RSX that just released. I can see one there right is. here. How do you feel like Puma's doing lately? Or with they're the doing movies? good, but you know, they, they're the first to have collapse before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're one of the first, like they have MTBO cribs, like Puma. They're doing good now. They know what the direction they're, they're going now. Yeah. It's good, like uh, for the ladies especially. So I have some stuff here, like uh, A6, uh, this one. 
Salcone Burger. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh my gosh. By end. Uh, wow. So, oh, the, these are the old Puma collabs. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I got three of those before, but two got broken already. Before, I don't have like a humidifier mm -hmm. and air conditioning. So, those are like essential for maintaining. Here in Manila, yeah. yeah. Especially here in Manila, it's very humid. Mm -hmm. You should have a dehumidifier and an air conditioning. Oh, that's like intense. 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. Burberry, you know, goes into streetwear now, too. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, they make uh, jogger pants, too, and, uh, you know, uh, Loose tees. These are the first ones they started with mm -hmm. the Puma Thunder. They made a lot of noise online. I know. That's uh, a big deal for Puma. Of course, the Adora. Really nice ones. This company makes shoes way back, like uh, volleyball shoes, mm -hmm. basketball shoes, like 30 years ago. Oh. Yeah, and then now they're making, uh, I think it's an Italian brand. Now they're making lifestyle shoes with uh, collabs with uh, other brands too. Mm -hmm. And then D again. Ooh. But Adidas made too many, but you know, still. <laughs> I like and I like the NMDs. Very comfortable. Salcony by Extra mm. Butter. Oh wow! It's like the space something. New Balance, of course, my favorite. Kennedy's, nine nine nine. They launched it at the Complex Con LA. Adidas made a pop up in New York, so they released limited edition shoes. I think this was released with the four uh, with the four D here. Hmm. With the white 4D, the friends and family. That was the big deal because it was the first time they made an Ultra Boost Mid. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, and you got the uh, the Coca Cola yeah, he, uh, Chuck Taylors. Yes, yes. These, I'm, I love these. How did you get these ones? Oh, this one I got from eBay. <laughs> I always eBay. buy at eBay. Oh wow. These are is oversized. Mm -hmm. So whenever you buy chucks, oh yeah, you know, one yeah. size lower. Anti social social club. This one I got in New York. I line up for it. Oh wow. Yeah, How often then, do you line up for sneakers? Mm, an hour. Mm -hmm. When when uh, you know. When it's not that limited, but yeah. when it's limited, I don't line up anymore. No. <laughs> it's crazy. Like you have to line up camp on overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever done that before? Hmm. The longest line I've ever camped out is like uh, hmm, maybe five hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. What were they for, if you can remember? I think it's in New York Supreme. Oh, is it Supreme Drop? Yeah, Supreme Drop. So Big Boy doesn't just collect sneakers, he also collects a lot of other items as well. Yeah. So uh, can you give us a little tour about your Supreme stuff and, and maybe some of the other stuff outside of sneakers? Okay. This one is uh, like a bare brick by Hebrew Bradley. Becoming big now, he works with uh, BBC uh, and uh, he makes toys too. And I think uh, he's a big part of the complex con. So I got the Supreme uh, Coleman collab here. I got this uh, raft <laughs> and the uh, Supreme uh, Everlast. We Have you ever used any of these yet? I won't ever use this because mm -hmm. this gets scratched. This one here? Yeah, but I use the off-white though. The yeah, see-through one? Yeah, and the anti-social shows as well, but this one are just for display. Display, okay. Yeah. This one is a quite rare uh, Bathing in bare brick by Ready Made. Uh, my this is my art room. Oh, this one is a painting room. by All and Ventura. It's oil painting. It looks like a picture. Oh, wow. All local artists. This one is my main business here. The Secret Fresh Gallery makes toys for local artists. Did you ever uh, collect any trading cards growing up? Of course. I collect Pokemon cards yeah. too. Yeah, you still everything. collect them now or? Uh, now no more. <laughs> now I concentrate more on basketball cards. Mm -hmm. Banksy, an original print. Yeah, so before Banksy went high, I got some stuff. Yeah. Like I got it for only like 400 bucks. And wow. my friend told me, why do you buy prints for 400 bucks? Yeah. And then now it went up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when that was like 17 years ago. Uh, 
basketball I bought from Rick's Restoration in Vegas. Yeah. So I'll take you to the basketball court. Yeah. This is where we do sports. I play with anti shoe expert every day. <laughs> hey. So I do boxing here, uh, yoga, and uh, of course basketball, badminton. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I have shoots here with my shoes. Yeah. These are my favorite shoes. Until oh now, right? Yeah, <laughs> see? They are destroyed. Yeah, but I still use it mm -hmm. yeah, for like three years more than I think. See? <laughs> so this is my love. I'm gonna keep him forever. <laughs> Boxing gloves and everything's here. And of course the punching bag. <laughs> Artwork by Neckface. He's one of the, my favorite artists. He's from LA. Yeah. I think he did like a, like something for Supreme, like yeah. the store. He did an artwork in the store. There you guys go. That is a quick little tour of Big Boy's house. If you guys want to see more of his stuff, more of his crazy collection, and more of his content, I'll leave his Instagram and YouTube channel linked down below. So I'll have it pop up on screen right now. Follow him, drop a comment, show him some love. I didn't show you guys the, uh, the top floor of his house, and there's a lot of crazy stuff up here too. So I'll give you guys like a quick little glimpse. If this video can get 10,000 thumbs up, we'll try and come back and do a second part showing you guys the rest of the stuff. There's like a lot of bare bricks. Oh my gosh. Damn. Ooh, oh my gosh, I got the full collection basically. What the? This is, this is crazy. There is literally an army of bare bricks right here. Check it out. We got the Beatles, we got Bart Simpson, we got Charlie Brown, we got oh, so many. I've never seen so many in one place before lined up like this. This is pretty crazy. A bunch of caps all throughout this little unit down there, all organized by color. And look at all these pillows. There's so many pillows. Oh, <laughs> oh there's action figures and stuff there. Not just action figures, but like, you guys know what I mean. That's, that's intense. Racks on racks of Supreme. All these shirts here, all Supreme. And all these white and black shirts here are also all Supreme. This is Big Boy's Closet. Not too many people have seen, seen this before. This is insane. We got some Supreme jackets right here. Ooh, look at this polka dot one. I like this one. Ooh, damn, man. All these jackets. It's like every single Supreme collection. He's got it. And of course, for all my Bape fans out there, he's got a pretty insane selection of shark hoodies right here. That's just a teaser of Big Boy's Closet. That'll wrap up the mini tour of the top floor. Let's see if we can get this video to 10,000 thumbs up. And if you guys made it to the very end of the video, comment down below. Big boy gang, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.